And hey, well, this is Francisco from Once Your Doctor Phone. And have you ever wanted to mirror your iPhone or iPad screen to your Windows PC? Well, this is the video for you. As many people do want to do this for easily being able to mirror media, for example, or just being able to play any kinds of games on the bigger screen and things of the like. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, first software is going to be Lonely Screen. This is going to be one of the simplest solutions, I would say, for mirroring your iOS device to your PC. So first, just go ahead and download Lonely Screen on your PC, and then once it's downloaded, make sure to follow the steps on the screen to properly set that up. And once it's downloaded, just open it and go back to your iPhone. And swipe to enable AirPlay, and then make sure to choose your Lonely Screen device, which, is, which should be labeled just as such, and then you're pretty much good to go from there. You should be able to see your iPhone or your iPad being mirrored on your PC from here. And our next method is going to be one of our favorites because it's going to be through Dr. Phone. So do make sure to download our software from the link in the description. And once you've downloaded it, just go ahead and open it. And from the main menu, go ahead and click on the sidebar and then click on more tools and then click on iOS screen recorder from there. And just make sure that both devices are going to be connected to the same network as that it's going to be necessary. So in other words, do make sure that they are connected to the same Wi-Fi source. And once they're both in sync, it is going to pop up on your computer. And then just go ahead and open up AirPlay and then choose the Dr. Phone device from here. And then from here, you're pretty much good to go and can see everything that is on your iPhone or iPad on your Windows PC, just like so. And number three is going to be Reflector 3. This software is pretty good, though it is going to be paid software, even though they do offer a seven day free trial. So I do encourage you to use it nonetheless, if you're not entirely sure if you are willing to pay for software at this time. This is going to be a very powerful piece of software and it's going to be really reliable as well. And it should also improve performance and things like gaming from your iOS device, which is pretty impressive. So do go ahead and download it and then open up the software. And then once you do, you are going to Notice that it pretty much only operates from the taskbar to minimize space usage, of course. And then on your iPhone, just make sure that you go onto AirPlay and then choose the correct device. And then you're pretty much good to go from there. You should see all of your contents from your phone on your PC from here. And it should be working pretty seamlessly as this is a pretty solid piece of software. And next up is Mirroring 360. This is actually one of the more popular options from this list and you can download it directly without any hassle. And once you've got it in your system, make sure that your iOS device and your PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network that is going to be pivotal to make this work. And as usual, just open up the app on your phone and then go to AirPlay and then go ahead and connect to the Mirroring 360 device. And then from there, you should be able to operate everything as intended. And just like with every other software, you should be able to see your iPhone or your iPad be mirrored to your PC. And lastly, we have a PowerSoft Phone Manager. This software can be downloaded directly, though it does operate over two different methods, wired and wirelessly, even though the wireless method is a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to go over both nonetheless. And so if you'd rather go the wired route, just go ahead and download the software normally and install it, plug in your phone to your computer via a lightning cable, or if you're using an, a current iPad, a USB-C cable, and then you might be prompted to install a certain driver, so do allow it to happen at vast. From there, you can pretty much just start mirroring right away, and that is pretty simple if you go the wired road. But if you would rather just set it up once, wirelessly and never have to worry about it again, then there's going to be a totally different method, but you're still going to need a cable for the first time setup. So do make sure that you plug in your phone to your PC first off, then go out and open up iTunes and then click on the device summary right up top and then click on the two boxes for sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi and manually manage music and videos and then just hit apply. On the phone manager on your PC, go ahead and tap on allow Wi-Fi connection to iOS. And then from here, you can just press okay. So do make sure to restart the manager on your PC. Now you should be able to connect wirelessly from, from here on out as your PC is now going to recognize your iPhone every single time that you try to use it. And that is going to be pretty cool. And those have been some of the best methods of mirroring your iPhone or iPad to your Windows PC. So do make sure to leave us a like if you like this video and then comment your questions down below if you have any. Also make sure to subscribe for more content just like this moving forward. So until next time, Enjoy.